The Moors were Muslim inhabitants of the Maghreb, the Iberian Peninsula, Sicily, and Malta during the Middle Ages. The Moors were initially of Berber and Arab descent, though the term was later applied to Africans, Iberian Christian converts to Islam, and people of mixed ancestry. In 711 the Moors invaded the Iberian Peninsula from North Africa and called the territory Al-Andalus, which at its peak included most of modern-day Spain, Portugal, and Septimania. The Moors occupied Mazara on Sicily in 827, developing it as a port, and they eventually consolidated the rest of the island and some of southern Italy. Differences in religion and culture led to a centuries-long conflict with the Christian kingdoms of Europe, which tried to reclaim control of Muslim areas. This conflict was referred to as the Reconquista. In 1224 the Muslims were expelled from Sicily to the settlement of Lucera, which was destroyed by European Christians in 1300. The fall of Granada in 1492 marked the end of Muslim rule in Iberia, although a Muslim minority persisted until their expulsion in 1609. The term Moors has also been used in Europe in a broader, somewhat derogatory sense to refer to Muslims in general, especially those of Arab or Berber descent, whether living in Spain or North Africa. During the colonial era, the Portuguese introduced the names Ceylon Moors and Indian Moors in Sri Lanka, and the Bengali Muslims were also called Moors. Moors are not a distinct or self-defined people. Medieval and early modern Europeans variously applied the name to sub-Saharan Africans, Arabs, Berbers and Muslim Europeans. In the modern Iberian Peninsula, Moor is sometimes colloquially used for any person from North Africa, though some people consider this use of the term pejorative. In Spanish the term is Moro, and in Portuguese it is Moro, name. Etymology During the Classical period, the Romans interacted with, and later conquered, parts of Mauritania, a state that covered modern Morocco, western Algeria, and the Spanish cities Ceuta and Melilla. The people of the region were noted in classical literature as Maori, which was subsequently rendered as Moors in English and in related variations in other European languages. According to the 7th century writing of Isidore of Seville, the Latin word Morris was derived from the Greek word for black, Mauron, and at the time, Moors were black by definition. In the 21st century, many people use the term of Moor or Moors for North Africans, especially Moroccans, although some find this derogatory. Modern meanings in medieval Romance languages, variations of the Latin word for the Moors developed different applications and connotations. The term initially denoted a specific Berber people in western Libya, but the name acquired more general meaning during the medieval period, associated with Muslim, similar to associations with Saracens, during the context of the Crusades and the Reconquista. The term Moors included the derogatory suggestion of infidels, apart from these historic associations and context. More and Moorish designate a specific ethnic group speaking the Hassania Arabic dialect. They inhabit Mauritania and parts of Algeria, Moroccan Sahara, Tunisia, Morocco, Niger, and Mali. In Niger and Mali, these peoples are also known as the Azawa Arabs, after the Azawa region of the Sahara. In Spain, modern colloquial Spanish use of the term Moro is derogatory for Moroccans in particular and Muslims in general. Similarly, in modern, colloquial Portuguese, the term Moro was primarily used as a designation for North Africans and secondarily as a derogatory and ironic term by Northern Portuguese to refer to the inhabitants of the southern parts of the country. However, this designation has gained more acceptance in the South. In the Philippines, a former Spanish colony, many modern Filipinos call the large, local Muslim minority concentrated in Mindanao and other southern islands Moros. 
The word is a catch-all term, as Moro may come from several distinct ethno-linguistic groups such as the Maranao. The term was introduced by Spanish colonizers, and has since been appropriated by Filipino Muslims as an endonym, with many self-identifying as members of the Bangsamoro. Marino can mean dark-skinned in Spain, Portugal, Brazil, and the Philippines. Also in Spanish, Morapio is a humorous name for wine, especially that which has not been baptized or mixed with water, i.e., pure or unadulterated wine. Among Spanish speakers, Moro came to have a broader meaning, applied to both Filipino Moros from Mindanao and the Moriscos of Granada. Moro refers to all things dark, as in more, moreno, etc. It was also used as a nickname, for instance, the Milanese Duke Ludovico S. Forza was called Il Moro because of his dark complexion. In Portugal, Moro may refer to supernatural beings known as enchanted Mora, where more implies alien and non-Christian. These beings were siren-like fairies with golden or reddish hair and a fair face. They were believed to have magical properties. From this root, the name Moor is applied to unbaptized children, meaning not Christian. In Basque, Mairu means Moor and also refers to a mythical people. Within the context of Portuguese colonization, in Sri Lanka, Muslims of Arab origin are called Ceylon Moors, not to be confused with Indian Moors of Sri Lanka. Sri Lankan Moors make up 12% of the population. The Ceylon Moors are descendants of Arab traders who settled there in the mid-6th century. When the Portuguese arrived in the early 16th century, they labelled all the Muslims in the island as Moors as they saw some of them resembling the Moors in North Africa. The Sri Lankan government continues to identify the Muslims in Sri Lanka as Sri Lankan Moors, subcategorized into Ceylon Moors and Indian Moors. The Goan Muslims, a minority community who follow Islam in the western Indian coastal state of Goa, are commonly referred as Moya by Goan, Catholics and Hindus. Moya is derived from the Portuguese word Moro, Moors of the Maghreb. During the late 7th and early 8th centuries, the Muslim Caliphate, established after the death of Muhammad, underwent a period of rapid expansion. In 647, 40,000 Arabs forced the Byzantine governor of North Africa to submit and pay tribute, but failed to permanently occupy the region. After an interlude, during which the Muslims fought a civil war, the invasions resumed in 665, seizing Byzantine North Africa up to Bugia over the course of a series of campaigns, lasting until 689. A Byzantine counter-attack largely expelled the Arabs but left the region vulnerable. Intermittent war over the inland provinces of North Africa continued for the next two decades. Further civil war delayed the continuation of further conquest, but an Arab assault took Carthage and held it against a Byzantine counter-attack. Although a Christian and pagan Berber rebellion pushed out the Arabs temporarily, the Romanized urban population preferred the Arabs to the Berbers and welcomed a renewed and final conquest that left North Africa in Muslim hands by 698 over the next decades. The Berber and urban populations of North Africa gradually converted to Islam, although for separate reasons. The Arab language was also adopted. Initially, the Arabs required only the subordination of these peoples rather than their assimilation, a process which took a considerable time. The groups that inhabited the Maghreb following this process became known collectively as Moors. Although the Berbers would later expel their Arab overlords from the Maghreb and form temporarily independent states, that effort failed to dislodge the usage of the collective term, Moors of Iberia. In 711 the Islamic Moors of Arab and Berber descent in North Africa crossed the Strait of Gibraltar onto the Iberian Peninsula, and in a series of raids they conquered Visigothic Christian Hispania. Their general, Tariq ibn Ziyad, brought most of Iberia under Islamic rule in an eight-year campaign. They continued northeast across the Pyrenees Mountains but were defeated by the Frank Charles Martel at the Battle of Poitiers in 732. 
the Moorish state fell into a civil conflict in 739 that lasted until 743, known as the Berber Revolt. The Berbers revolted against the Arab aristocracy due to oppression by the Arab ruling class. The Moors ruled in North Africa and in most of the Iberian Peninsula for several centuries, and the Umayyad Arab aristocracy ruled all the way from Damascus to Spain. Ibn Hazm, the Moor polymath, mentions that many of the Moor caliphs in the Umayyad and Cordoba caliphates had fair hair and light eyes. Ibn Hazm mentions that he preferred blondes, and notes that there was much interest in blondes in Al-Andalus amongst the rulers and regular Muslims. All the caliphs of the Banu Marwan, and especially the sons of Al-Nazir, were without variation or exception disposed by nature to prefer blondes. I have myself seen him, and known others who had seen the four bears. From the days of Al-Nazir's reign down to the present day, every one of them has been fair-haired, taking after their mothers, so that this has become a hereditary trait with them, all but Suleiman al-Zafir, whom I remember to have had black ringlets and a black beard. As for Al-Nazir and Al-Hakam al-Mustanzir, I have been informed by my late father, the vizier, as well as by others, that both of them were blonde and blue-eyed. The same is true of Hisham al-Mu'ayyad, Muhammad al-Mahdi, and backquote Abd al-Rahman al, al mutajah I saw them myself many times, and had the honor of being received by them, and I remarked that they all had fair hair and blue eyes. The language spoken in the parts of the Iberian Peninsula under Muslim rule was Andalusian Arabic. A variety of the Arabic language, the language became extinct after the expulsion of the Moriscos, but Arabic influence can be found in the Spanish language of today. The Muslims were resisted in parts of the Iberian Peninsula in areas of the northwest and the largely Basque regions in the Pyrenees. Though the number of Moorish colonists was small, many native Iberian inhabitants converted to Islam. By 1000, according to Ronald Siegel, some 5 million of Iberia's 7 million inhabitants, most of them descended from indigenous Iberian converts, were Muslim. There were also sub-Saharan Africans who had been absorbed into Al-Andalus to be used as soldiers and slaves. The Berber and Sub-Saharan African soldiers were known as Tangerines because they were imported through Tangier. The Caliphate of Cordoba collapsed in 1031 and the Islamic territory in Iberia fell under the rule of the Almohad dynasty in 1153. This second stage of Moorish rule was guided by a version of Islam that left behind the more tolerant practices of the past. Al-Andalus broke up into a number of Islamic-ruled fiefdoms, or taifas, which were partly consolidated under the Caliphate of Cordoba. The Asturias, a small northwestern Christian Iberian kingdom, initiated the reconquest as soon after the Islamic conquest in the 8th century. Christian states based in the north and west slowly extended their power over the rest of Iberia. The Kingdom of Navarre, the Kingdom of Galicia, the Kingdom of Leon, the Kingdom of Portugal, the Kingdom of Aragon, the Marca Hispanica, and the Crown of Castile began a process of expansion and internal consolidation during the next several centuries under the flag of Reconquista. In 1212, a coalition of Christian kings under the leadership of Alfonso VIII of Castile drove the Muslims from central Iberia. The Portuguese side of the Reconquista ended in 1249 with the conquest of the Algarve under Afonso III. He was the first Portuguese monarch to claim the title King of Portugal and the Algarve. The Moorish Kingdom of Granada continued for three more centuries in southern Iberia. On January 2, 1492, the leader of the last Muslim stronghold in Granada surrendered to the armies of a recently united Christian Spain. They forced the remaining Jews to leave Spain, convert to Roman Catholic Christianity, or be killed for refusing to do so. In 1480, to exert social and religious control, Isabella and Ferdinand agreed to allow the Inquisition in Spain. 
Granada's Muslim population rebelled in 1499. The revolt lasted until early 1501, giving the Castilian authorities an excuse to void the terms of the Treaty of Granada. In 1501, Castilian authorities delivered an ultimatum to Granada's Muslims. They could either convert to Christianity or be expelled. The Inquisition was aimed mostly at Jews and Muslims who had overtly converted to Christianity but were thought to be practicing their faiths secretly. They were respectively called Maranos and Moriscos. In reaction, there was a Morisco uprising in the Alpajaras from 1568 to 1571. In the years from 1609 to 1614, the government expelled Moriscos. The historian Henry Le Perra estimated that this affected 300,000 out of an estimated total of 8 million inhabitants. Some Muslims converted to Christianity and remained permanently in Iberia. This is indicated by high mean proportion of ancestry from North African that attests to a high level of religious conversion, driven by historical episodes of social and religious intolerance. That ultimately led to the integration of descendants, according to historian Richard A. Fletcher. The number of Arabs who settled in Iberia was very small. Moorish Iberia does at least to have the merit of reminding us that the bulk of the invaders and settlers were Moors, i.e., Berbers from Algeria and Morocco. In the meantime, Spanish and Portuguese expeditions westward from the New World spread Christianity to India, the Malayan Peninsula, Indonesia, and the Philippines. By 1521, the ships of Magellan had reached that island archipelago, which they named Las Islas Filipinas, after Philip II of Spain. In Mindanao, the Spaniards named the Chris-bearing people as Moros or Moors. Today this ethnic group in Mindanao, who are generally Filipino Muslim, are called Moros. Gallery Othello, the Moor and Desdemona, his Venetian wife, from William Shakespeare's play Othello. Batala del Puig, depicting a battle from the Reconquista. Tariq Ibn Ziad was the Moorish general who led the conquest of Visigothic Spain in the early 8th century. Moors in Spain playing chess, from the Book of Games. The Moors request permission from James I of Aragon. Wild Men and Moors Tapestry. 1400. Moorish and Christian army readying for battle, taken from the County Gast de Santa Maria. Moorish and Christian Reconquista battle, taken from the County Gast de Santa Maria. Christian and Moor playing lutes. 13th century. Riyadh the Moor receiving a letter from Channel in Hadith by Edouard Riyadh. Depiction of Moorish cavalry troops, taken from the County Gast de Santa Maria. Moors dividing the spoils, taken from the County Gast de Santa Maria. Muhammad XII of Granada, last Muslim sultan in Spain. Leo Africanus born in Granada. Christian and Moor playing chess, from the Book of Games of Alfonso X, 1285. Moors of Sicily. The first Muslim conquest of Sicily began in 827, though it was not until 902 that almost the entire island was in the control of the Aghabids, with the exception of some minor strongholds in the rugged interior. During that period some parts of southern Italy fell under Muslim control, most notably the port city of Bari which formed the Emirate of Bari from 847 to 871. In 909 the Aghabid dynasty was replaced by Shiite Fatimids. Four years later, the Fatimid governor was ousted from Palermo when the island declared its independence under Emir Ahmed ibn Korob. The language spoken in Sicily under Muslim rule was Siculo Arabic. In 1038, a Byzantine army under George Manoratzes crossed the Strait of Messina. This army included a corps of Normans that saved the situation in the first clash against the Muslims from Messina. After another decisive victory in the summer of 1040, Manoratzes halted his march to lay siege to Syracuse. Despite his success, Manoratzes was removed from his position, and the subsequent Muslim counter-offensive reconquered all the cities captured by the Byzantines. The Norman Robert Giscard, son of Tancred, invaded Sicily in 1060. 
The island was split between three Arab emirs, and the Christian population in many parts of the island rose up against the ruling Muslims. One year later, Messina fell, and in 1072 Palermo was taken by the Normans. The loss of the cities, each with a splendid harbour, dealt a severe blow to Muslim power on the island. Eventually all of Sicily was taken. In 1091, Noto in the southern tip of Sicily and the island of Malta, the last Arab strongholds, fell to the Christians. Islamic authors noted the tolerance of the Norman kings of Sicily. Ibn al-Atir wrote, they, the Muslims, were treated kindly, and they were protected, even against the Franks. Because of that, they had great love for King Roger. The Muslim problem characterized Hohen's Tauf and rule in Sicily under Holy Roman Emperors Henry VI and his son, Frederick II. Many repressive measures were introduced by Frederick II to please the popes, who were intolerant of Islam in the heart of Christendom. This resulted in a rebellion by Sicilian Muslims, which in turn triggered organized resistance and systematic reprisals and marked the final chapter of Islam in Sicily. The complete eviction of Muslims and the annihilation of Islam in Sicily was completed by the late 1240s when the final deportations to Lucera took place. Architecture Moorish architecture is the articulated Islamic architecture of North Africa and parts of Spain and Portugal where the Moors were dominant between 711 and 1492. The best surviving examples are La Mezquita in Cordoba and the Alhambra Palace in Granada, and also the Giralda in Seville. Other notable examples include the ruined palace city of Medina Azahara, the church San Cristo de la Luz in Toledo, the Algeferia in Saragossa and Bath set for example Ronda in Alhamada Granada.